Luca Heights. Welcome to the first JR Autumn Beat Battle, sponsored by Beluga Heights TV, FreeOnSmash.com, and MeetTheDealer.com. Let's jump right into it. The first track is from Flair. So that was Flair's beat. Um, that was a pretty good beat to me. I think what I liked about it, um, there was a nice open pop chord progression that I thought could kind of go, it could be turned into a song, it could be a ballad anywhere from like, you know, a Christina Aguilera or a Leona Lewis, you know, all the way to um, kind of a more, I guess, emotional or powerful uh, rap song. I thought sonically it sounded good, the piano sounded, you know, full and real. Um, and um, in general, I think uh, I think it was a good canvas for somebody to write to. Solid track. Track number two is from BC Productions. Let's check it out. checked out BC Productions track and that was a really cool track it was up tempo um, I think it sounds like a very current um, dance style beat that's you know happening on, on the radio I think um, I hear it as probably a male up tempo maybe like a Tayo Cruz or an Usher type thing it could probably also go to a female pop thing the third producer is D Laliette here is his track That one had a really cool, smooth vibe to it, um, very reggae influenced, very mellow. Um, you know, I think that one kind of goes against the grain. It doesn't have an obvious mainstream radio feel because of the tempo and because of the laid backness, but I think it's kind of cool because it has an individual kind of character to it. The fourth and final producer today is Ronnie D.
great track. I think um, in a lot of ways, like the first track we heard, um, it had a very good kind of classical chord progression to it, um, set to sort of urbanish pop drums, and I think that's another example of a song that is right down the middle. So it's time to basically choose our runners-up um, and the winner. All four tracks were great. Um, obviously, they were all finalists, but um, I have to choose. I'm going to give the runner-up place to D. Laliette with the reggae track. Um, while I found that track probably to be the least quote-unquote commercial or radio sounding out of all four, there was kind of an effortlessness to it. Um, I think if my criteria was just, you know, which one of the four tracks would I want to just kind of like listen to without even a song there and kind of vibe to and feel good about, it was that one. I just enjoyed listening to it. Again, it wasn't trying too hard. It kind of had a vibe to it. There was soul there. There was something organic to it. Um, and I was, I was really just enjoying it. Um, there's something honest about it and not trying to be like, not like, hey, I want to be on the radio right now and, and that kind of thing. It was kind of like a lack of desperation to it. I'm going to give the final prize to the last song, the last track we heard, which was by Ronnie D. Um, and I think I give that one the edge because it had the right balance. Um, it sounded commercial. It sounded like, out of all the tracks, probably the one that I could most give to a writer or an artist. In other words, if I was working with some writers or an artist and we're trying to write a song, I could probably hear that track and give it to them and see them kind of coming up with melodies and a hook to it and that kind of stuff. It seemed to have potential to be turned into a commercial song. It had, you know, a good chord progression, as I said in the beginning. Um, the drums moved in a good way. Um, it had a mid, it was a mid, but the way it was moving kind of had more energy to it. Um, and I think ultimately um, was probably probably had the most potential for a commercial song to be written to. Congrats to Ronnie D. You are the first of four producers to make it to the winner's battle. We are taking submissions for Battle 2 at jrodombeatbattle at gmail.com. Do you live in Beluga Heights? <laughs>